Hello, welcome back to Principles of Corporate Finance video lecture series. Now, today we are on session two, financial statements topics. On session one, we talked about uh, functions of financial management, that is what a finance manager does in a company. To implement these functions, finance manager needs information about company. This information is gotten through financial statements. In, in this video lecture series, I assume that listeners have uh, general information about principles of accounting, thus you know what are financial statements, uh, how they are reported. Here we will summarize it uh, for our analysis purposes. As you know, there are four financial statements, main financial statements. Now we'll discuss one by one uh, and we'll start with balance sheet. Uh, balance sheet is a snapshot of company's accounting value in a point uh, on time. That point is usually end of year. Uh, that is what you see as a balance sheet shows us what this company has by that time, by end of year. And uh, we have a sample here. And asset side of balance sheet, you know, is equal to uh, liability and equity side of the balance sheet. That's why we call it balance. Balance sheet starts with current assets, fixed assets, short-term liabilities, long-term liabilities, and equity. This T-shaped balance sheet is one form how it is reported. You may see different uh, forms as well. Assets are listed due to their liquidity. So that is, we have most liquid, most liquid as assets at the beginning, then it goes to less liquid. Uh, sample, uh, in a sample balance sheet, we see cash and cash equivalents, accounts receivable, inventories and others. Then it comes to fixed assets, what company has uh, as equipments, uh, uh, plants and properties. We have land here, buildings and improvements, equipments and others. And also it is a reported net of uh, depreciation. Company also may have some other intangible assets as well. They are all reported in asset side of balance sheet. And total assets shows some of all these assets in uh, dollar amount. In liability side, items are listed due to their due date. That's, uh, for example, we start with accounts payable. It shows that it uh, will be paid the earliest. Then it comes notes payable and others. Uh, these are short-term liabilities. Long-term debt, uh, these items are also, this, this is debt. These are uh, debts longer than, with maturity longer than one year. In equity side, we have common stuff, what company has issued, additional paid in capital, retained earnings, and also sometimes companies may uh, have repurchased their stocks. It's uh, listed on treasury stock. Also, uh, some of all these liabilities and equity is recorded at the end of a liability equity side. As I said, it is balanced. Total assets and total liability and equity is uh, equal. As I said, finance department will analyze these uh, statements, find uh, here balance sheet. So it's important to pay attention to these three points. Accounting liquidity, debt versus equity, value versus cost. The second financial statement we'll discuss is income statement. Income statement shows performance of company through a period, that is uh, generally a year or quarter or, or how company reports it. So it starts with uh, Operating revenues, that is what company has sold through this year. Then uh, we subtract cost of goods sold, that uh, what uh, goods are produced. Then also company has selling general administrative expenses. We also deduct all these expenses. Uh, depreciation of fixed assets. And after deducting all these costs, we get operating income. Operating income is an important uh, indicator. It shows that what company has produced, has generated in terms of cash through operations. Company also may have other income from other sources. So uh, adding this up, we get a bit uh, earnings before interest and tax. Co uh, company uh, also may have interest expense due to its debts. We deduct these uh, in, uh, expenses and get pre-tax income. All companies may uh, 
pay, pay tax, of course, and uh, we get net income after deducting tax. So net income is last uh, actual last item of income statement. It shows what company has generated net of all uh, costs, all obligations, and then board of directors decide how to trade this income. Uh, it uh, may be paid out as dividends or company may retain it for future projects. Uh, this uh, part of this company, sample company, is uh, operations sections. Also, as I said, company may have income from non-operating sections. Uh, this part is uh, non-operating section. For example, other income, this income uh, may come from other activities, financing activities or investing activities. Uh, interest expense is due to uh, financing and others. When analyzing income statement, we need to pay attention to these three, topic, these three topics. Uh, what accounting standards, uh, what account standards is used, uh, what non-cash items company has, and time, uh, time and cost of, uh, time and costs. So, uh, uh, these uh, accounting standards uh, are important because uh, record, recording or reporting some items may change from standards to standards. We, may, we need to pay attention uh, to this standard. Main non-cash item is depreciation. So we need to pay attention to depreciation, how it affects our net income. Also taxes. Taxes are, uh, as I said, important uh, item in uh, income statement because it takes out a big portion of company's income. So, uh, and uh, the company doesn't have any return for this. In analyzing financial statements, we uh, Look, we need to look at working capital, net working capital. Net working capital is, uh, is the capital how company maintains its daily operations. That's current assets minus current liabilities. So uh, net, uh, net working capital grows with the firm, that is if company grows, has uh, higher sales and others, of course net, uh, net working capital will grow as well. So for uh, for a sample balance sheet, we get, uh, for example, for uh, 2016's year, we have total current assets of 707, these are million. And uh, this is the current assets minus total current liabilities for 20, uh, 2016, uh, $455, we get $252 million. It shows that company uh, networking capital is $252 million. And in uh, 2017, it became $275 million. Next financial statement is cash flow statement. Uh, I think it's the most important one for a finance manager. It shows that where company, uh, how much and where company has generated cash during the year. So uh, co company may have higher net income, but uh, as I said, the net income uh, has non-cash items, uh, it has uh, uncollected uh, sales and others that these are not cash. Uh, so looking at solely at net, uh, net income number uh, is not enough for taking a financial decision. We need to look at fine, uh, f cash flow statement to see throughout the period, let's say year, where money has come, cash has come and how, where, how we have used it, where has it come. Uh, cash flow from operating activities is an important part of cash flow statement. Uh, it shows uh, how much cash is generated by main operations of the company. For our sample company, to calculate cash flow from operations, we start with net income and adjust it for non-cash items as depreciation, deferred tax and others. Uh, then uh, we need to adjust it for change in current assets and current liabilities. So increasing current assets, for example, increasing receivables, means that uh, company has paid out cash. For example, increasing uh, inventories, company has tied cash to inventories. Vice versa, uh, decrease in current assets means cash inflow. And also in liability side, increase in liabilities is cash inflow, and uh, decrease in liabilities is cash outflow. 
So summing up all these numbers, we get total cash flow from operating activities for this company is 207 uh, million. The second part of cash flow statement is cash flow from investing activities. That is, uh, what fixed assets during this period company has acquired and has sold. Acquiring, buying new fixed assets is cash outflow for the company, for the company, and selling uh, fixed assets is cash inflow for company. Company has acquired uh, this much and says uh, has sold. 25 million dollars and total cash flow from investing activities is minus 173 million. That is, company has acquired, has bought more than it sold. And last part of uh, cash flow statement is cash flow from financing activities. It shows how company's capital structure has changed. Uh, have has the company issued new stocks or new bonds and others. Uh, <clears throat> That's cash flows to and from creditors and owners include change in the equity and debt. Uh, this company, hypothetical company, it has retirement of debt, 73 million retirement of debt. The company has paid back to their uh, principal debt. Proceeds from long-term debt sales, uh, it has uh, cash inflow from proceeds, change in notes payable, company has paid out $3 million and the company has paid out 34, 4 to $3 million. This is cash outflow. Repurchase of stock, the company has uh, bought back 6 million of its uh, outstanding shares. And also the company has proceeds of new uh, stocks of 43 million. That's cash inflow for company. At all sum up to $4 million. Total cash flow from financing activities is $4 million. This is uh, cash flow from uh, financing activities. We had investing and uh, operating activities. To sum up all these numbers, we get a cash uh, total cash flow statement. We put all here, get total cash flow statement. This is summary of financial statements, basic financial statements. In the next session, we'll talk about analysis of these statements. Thank you for watching.